Reverend Father Charlson Nen, a priest aspiring to represent Glu East in Parliament come 2021, has welcomed his suspension from priestly duties, saying it might be a blessing in disguise. Onen made the remarks while responding to a suspension later issued by the Archbishop of Glu, John Baptist Odama, which has been making rounds on social media. In the first place, I suspended my work. My service, myself, I suspended, and he is suspending me for the second time. I was ready on leave, because in this document I've indicated that on the 1st of October I will be at home, and I was ready, and I'm ready at home. Reverend Father Onen said he has been seeking permission from the Archbishop to be released from his priestly duties because he felt a stronger calling to help people through politics. I've received contribution from the Islamic community, 120 liters of diesel for my campaign. And this to me is a miracle. It is a sign that they have understood my message that I am not representing the Catholic Church and I'm not representing the Catholic Church. And that's why I'm putting on the, word, the ordinary uh, attire, not the, cleric, the clerical word, shirt, because I'm not also representing the word, the clergy. I'm representing humanity. In a letter written to Archbishop Odama dated 3rd August 2020, Reverend Father Nen petitioned the church to be granted an extended leave of absence from active priestly ministry for a period of five years to make it possible for him to offer himself as a candidate for an elective political office. However, in a 5th October later, the Archbishop said it would not be right for a priest to be involved in partisan politics because it will divide the flock. It is said very clearly a cleric should not go in public affairs to look for position of administration there and more so partisan politics. No. Archbishop John Baptist Odama wrote two more letters telling Onen to desist from active involvement in politics and commit to his priestly vocation. You are already excluding yourself from being a priest. You will not be allowed to practice the law of administering the word of God from pulpit, the word of administering the sacraments. Those are not for you. However, Reverend Father Onen refused to obey, prompting the suspension to be enforced. What I know, I'm not going to fail. I've never failed right from nursery to my master's degree in Makerere University. I never failed or got a retake. So there's nothing like retake or failing. That is what I can say. Arthur Wall, a political scientist, says the suspension might work in the priest's favor going by the previous examples of people who left the priesthood to join politics. But those who know Father, Reverend Father Charles Onen, he's not new to controversy. Even while he was in the mainstream church as a parish priest of Holy Rosary, he was, the same, he was doing the same things. He was the leading voice uh, to come against social injustices, issues of land in Nepal, uh, the issues generally affecting the people. He was a voice also uh, advocating against some of the ills in society. However, other opinion leaders in GLU say the Catholic Church should streamline its procedures for those seeking to leave because many have tried and been 